Every day here in Southern California, we face the risk of a potentially powerful earthquake, so we're constantly reminded to prepare for the worst case scenario. Gail Anderson live in Van Nuys with information about a free emergency preparedness class you can take part in. Gail, good morning. Good morning. I'm learning a lot in the classes and even today, Saturday, it's free, but they want you to reg register today here, SOS uh, Survival Products in Van Nuys. They want you to register today so they know how many folks are coming to get information to help them with one of the following or more. Take a look at this footage. Uh, you saw some of this flooding and destruction uh, that happened earlier this year. This on top of fires, earthquakes. They want us to be prepared for everything. That's why this class is called an emergency preparedness class. And as we come back here live, that's why they want you to put some of these items on the list. They're going to teach you about these Saturday. Don't think earthquake kit. You see these kits say emergency to handle everything. If you're up in Big Bear in the snow to handle the snow, fires, floods to handle everything, not just earthquakes. The other thing we're learning is that communication is vital. Your cell phone is not going to be enough. It's not going to work. We're learning that texting is going to be the key with this, that you really need an AM, FM, weather channel radio to keep you alert to what's happening, what's going on, so you can keep yourself safe. The other thing we're learning is that lighting is also imperative. Flashlights are good, but not enough, according to Jeff Edelstein, who says we need to add one of these to our menu, a lantern. Here, let him explain in his own words. The lanterns, you know, updating lanterns to LED lanterns is a really good idea. Get rid of those really old camping lanterns that would only give 20 hours of use off the batteries. Now update to the newer styles that, that will give you 150 to 200 hours of use. Um, so there's big advances, they're brighter, they're, they're more efficient. This is one of my favorite lanterns. This is a 2000 lumen lantern, extremely bright. Um, we could even have a dance party with it. But this lantern, it, you get 150, up to 150 hours of light. We have them in the store here. We have them in different sizes. We even have a mini version of it. So like in our house, I have one of these tiny lanterns in each of the bedrooms in the house so we can light up a room. So that's the nice thing about, a lot of people have flashlights, but that just gives a direct beam of light. The lantern will light up a room. So having a variety of different lanterns throughout the house or at work is a good idea. Ah, here's where you can sign up. There's the phone number, or you can go to the website as well for SOS Survival Products. And I know Jeff is not exaggerating when uh, the station got trashed, and it did during the Northridge quake. Even with our emergency lighting, it was still dark. Eric Spielman will tell you it was still dark and hard to see and hard to get around, even with the emergency lighting. And uh, as we wrap up here later this afternoon, and when you sign up for the course, you'll learn about other things about keeping yourself clean. Now, this would be your portable loo, <coughs> if you know what I mean. Jeff will explain how that works when you take the class. And forget those baby wipes. If you want to keep yourself showered, he says adult, adult, these adult cleansing cloths. Not uh, wipes, not the baby. You see how big they are, Mercy. You can make a tube top out of that. Anyway, these are huge and uh, they feel great. They don't have a crazy smell and will keep you um, minty fresh, shower fresh. If there's no power, no water, no lights, and you're on your own, something to consider. Again, sign up for the class. A lot to learn. Back to you in the studio. All right, great, Gail. Great information there. Thank you.